Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mugwam. My name is Leanne. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry that I have been MIA. Um, if you are really good at context clues, I've been sick. So I'm now feeling much better um, than I was. And I am very grateful to still be alive. I've also worked an entire day. I don't work in manual labor. I work in a computer, but this is how good the day was. <laughs> so let's, uh, you know, let's pretend like this, this looks better than it does. And let's, let's actually go through and haul some stuff. I've had some stuff delivered. I've got um, some fun things, and I just want to show you what I got. I have the brand new Beauty Bay palette that came out. It just arrived today, and then I had like a crazy Ulta order and some stuff I picked up at the store, just stuff. So let's talk about makeup. I'm not going to put contacts in. I have also got apparently, I don't know, drywall in my hair. Who knows? This is what you get. These are little like Mickey Mouse ghost earrings that I absolutely love. They're made by somebody local. She's so cute. Anywho, this makeup has been on for 17 years. Let's get into it. So one of the things that I did over the weekend was I curled my hair with my cozy curlers. And it's a non-heat curling method where you wet your hair, you, you roll them up, you sleep in the things. And I have a video on that from about a year ago. And my hair is... Uh, it doesn't look like it right now, but it's super cute and curly. And in like looking at different ways to do heatless curls, I went and purchased a few things to do different different kinds of heatless curls. One way involved these flexible curlers. Um, and I've seen many TikToks with a hairstyle that you do what they call like a like a, a, a next day blowout kind of hair where you roll your hair forward with two of these um, kind of flexible rollers that just sort of you twist them and they stay in that shape in a sock and then you roll it forward and you know twist it up go to sleep things like that so I thought over the next coming weeks when I get froggy that I'll play with this but also um, I got one of these dealios for really inexpensive on Amazon. The whole, you put the one pool noodle over your head, you know what I'm talking about, and do this kind of thing with it, you know. So, I now have one of these pool noodle things <laughs> that you wrap your hair around. I thought, we'll do it. And then, the piece de resistance, recycling was back there. I bought me one of these here caps. Yo, I'm so excited. I'm going to put it in my hair. And I'm going to wear it. I'm so excited. <laughs> this was the thing I was the most excited about. I, I do sleep with a CPAP. And it would have been incredibly helpful with the Cozy Curlers to have something over the curlers that the CPAP, like, mask apparati could fit around my head easier. I can't wait. I'll let you know how these things go. We'll, we'll play with them together. But these are my new hair toys that I'm going to absolutely love playing with. So let's get to the Beauty Bay order because I've got several palettes and things to swatch. So let's just settle in because this is going to be a fun video. So you remember a while back, I told you that the new Beauty Bay packaging that it comes in is absolutely, I mean, it's like, it's beautiful. Like, it used to literally come in the world's most rickety box that was beat up by everybody and every walrus between here and the UK where it comes from. It was terrible. I mean, I was absolutely shocked that it actually got here with all the components in it because it was holes and it looked like it had been hit by every lorry between here and there. And now they have this stunning packaging. So 10 out of 10 for packaging now for Beauty Bay because it looks amazing. I don't, but the Beauty Bay box does. So here are some things that kind of have been sitting in my like cart on the app 
waiting for the next Beauty Bay palette to launch so that then I could get it. So here are some things that I bought along with the new palette. So this is the Be Perfect Fahrenheit Burnt Luxe Powder Bronzer for Face and Body. Burnt is what it's called. Um, complexion Enhancing Neutral Bronze. This is heavy, kids. This is heavier than it should be. My word, this is a really pretty... It's very bulky. You know, I don't like that, but uh, interesting. Okay, there's plastic, but it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to leave. There we go. We've ejected it. Um, so there she is. And here we go. Okay. Bronzer. Is it magnificent? I don't know. We'll try it. I mean, looks neutrally. Matte. Not bad. So there's that for absolutely no reason at all, except that I wanted it. It is made in the PRC. I missed, I swear y'all. I have to go clean out my trash can for what belongs in the recycling because I'm insane. Here's another bronzer. Why? I have no, no concept of why I bought two bronzers that I don't need, except that I've never tried anything from Be Perfect Cosmetics. Um, and also nothing from Pink Honey. This is the Cocoa Powder by Pink Honey in Taupe 01. Okay. And she's cute. Oh, she's cute. Look at her. Little baby powder. Oh, wow. She is cool tone. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, check it out. Let's put her next to... Wow, that's a pretty undertone. So this is the Pink Honey Taupe, and there's the Be Perfect Burnt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a much better size compact for me. But it oh, looks nice. Actually, the, the Be Perfect has a slight sheen to it. This one is definitely matte. Okay, and then something that I picked up because I wanted to try it. I have no need for this at all, are the Treadwell Cosmetics Velvet Powder Puffs. Aren't they cute? They were like, um, made, or like they did the whole tiktok -y thing, and I was excited to try them. Now I literally missed on the other side. I can't, y'all. But here they are. They're just lovely puffy puffs, and I will use them to set uh, my face. Okay, now for eyeshadow palettes that I have absolutely no reason for buying, except that I wanted them. Okay, I've never tried the Beauty Crop, and there were a couple of palettes that I was kind of stalking, and I looked up a few swatch videos on them, and I thought, okay, I'll do that. They're not very expensive. None of these items are, because that's how I like to roll on Beauty Bay, is cheap. Uh, but also, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for, are brands from the UK that I can't necessarily get here in the United States that are inexpensive. I, I like inexpensive things for the most part when it comes to makeup. I also like luxury stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so the very first palette that I got from the Beauty Crop is called the, called the, I can't get it out, called the Star, it's been that kind of day, y'all. Stargazing palette, so Here's the outer packaging, glorious, right? And here is the actual packaging, also glorious. And okay, here she is. She's had a moment. Okay, she looks a little rough. She looks a little rough. She looks a little wrinkly rough. <laughs> I'm not sure what, I don't know what her story is, y'all. <laughs> oh, mercy. She looked like she has been through the gigs. Um. So, well, it's okay. Some of us are wrinkly. That's our, that doesn't mean that we aren't worth it. Okay. So wrinkles don't mean that you aren't special and worth it. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So here are the first four shimmers. Very, very pretty. I believe there are two glitters, maybe three. Um, and I don't think any of them are matte. So, interesting. Oh, that's a glitter, all right, kids. Okay. 
So glitter, still the shimmers. Oh, glitter on my hand tonight. We're gonna have glitter in our hair and glitter on our face before we're done with the day. There's the next four. Pretty, right? <gasps> it's not that I don't like glitter. I used to really not like glitter. I just know that every time I swatch it or touch anything after this, there'll be particles everywhere. These glasses are from Zilu, I believe. Oh, okay, more glitter. Oh, and more glitter. All right, two glitters and more shimmers. Okay, here we go. It's hard to swatch a glitter. I mean, it's not easy, but okay. So this is the star stargazing palette by the Beauty Crop. Lots of shiny, shimmery, beautiful colors. Just really pretty. Um, that's interesting. I don't know that I knew that there were three glitters in it, but you know, that's not to say that they didn't tell me or anything. I just wasn't paying attention, which is not an unusual thing for yours truly. Okay, so there's there's that. Lots of people like close-ups. There you go. Stargazing by the beauty crop. All right, let's wipe a wipe a wipe a. Ooh, okay, now. Oh. Oh, well, we've made a muddy mess. Okay, wonderful. And there's glitter particles, as predicted, absolutely everywhere. Okay, next up. Oh, heavens to Betsy. And, you know, this hair, I just... There she is, our wrinkly friend, Stargazing Palette. Next up, let's do the Mojito Palette, which is another beauty crop palette. Um, and... I am a sucker for green eyeshadows. I'm a sucker for kind of all shades of eyeshadows, but I really enjoy a good green every now and then. So this one has some beauts. Okay, so we've only got weirdness on one corner of this palette. Why would this happen? I don't know. Um, she's pretty, isn't she? Now there appear to be some mattes in this one. One glitter, maybe two, not really sure. That's a weird texture. Okay. Okay, we've got mattes in this one. Huh, that's a weird, it's a shimmer, but it's a, it feels a little thicker than the other palette's shimmers. It may just be this one or it may be the shimmers in this one. Let's find out. Okay, so there's the first row. That first one's a shimmer. The other three are mattes, but they're not, they're not, I don't know, I don't know how to call it, like not a flat mat, I guess. Mm, maybe it is. I don't know. All right, next row. Glory be. Oh gosh. Okay, that, that glitter went everywhere. Like, very, very emollient, this glitter. Oh, golly. It's stunning. <laughs> but I've smooshed it out of the paint. Look at that shine on that glitter. I mean, good glory be. Have mercy. That's beautiful. But I've also got it flipping everywhere. Okay. And I mean it. Like, I've got it everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I'm trying to scoop it back in. I don't know. I'm so sorry I have done this to you. Oh, I'm so oh I'm sorry. Oh, I'm making it worse as usual. Okay. Let's just clean it off and pretend like it didn't happen. And we'll move on from there. Sorry. Okay, let's last row. Oh my golly. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, that is not uh didn't know if that was gonna be a glitter or not. It is not. So in this palette, only one glitter, but boy howdy is she smooshy. Gosh, these are pretty. I mean, come on now. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. I wouldn't say they're the most pigmented mattes I've ever seen in my life, but they're, it's pretty. I'll be happy to use them and tell you how I like them and show you how to, how I use them. I've got it just, I'm filthy now. Filthy. Okay. Let's, oh my God. <laughs> If this is your first video uh, with me, this is exactly what it's like all the time. There's nothing 
unusual about this chaos uh, reigning supreme on this channel. Um, you know, some people get on here and like, they like want to make a career out of YouTube and, you know, they want to sign brand deals and get makeup collabs. You know what I'm talking about? They want this for their job, you know? Um, I got a job and I'm real good at it and I'm fine. Um, so all I want to do is get up here and have fun. So I don't have any sense is basically what I'm saying. There's the mojito palette. That's fun. We'll use that. And now the peace day resistance. The reason I placed the order is the new Beauty Bay palette. This is uh, Retro Love by Beauty Bay. And I'm so excited. I have my Beauty Bay palettes right, right there and all the way to the end. Many people feel st the hiccups, strongly about Beauty Bay palettes. They love them or they hate them. I'm a lover. They perform amazingly well for me. I have no issues with them. I usually absolutely love the color stories. And this one is no different. She's pastels, some neutrals. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is beautiful. Man, she's pretty. All right, let's swatch it up. Um, I like looking at their palettes in a few different ways because sometimes they feel a little disjointed, but I do, I do a couple of things with my eyes when I look at these palettes. One is to look at the row. Ooh, as I stab the palette. Two is to look at the each column to see if there's a color story there. Three is to look at like quads next to one another. And when I do that, I see colors that go together almost every single time. I don't know who organizes where the shades are placed, um, but when I do that, I usually see color stories that work together. Even if the colors don't look like they go together, they do. It's really cool. All right, let's swatch it up. So there is a matte white in this one. I don't know if that's a matte black or not. It might be a navy blue or a charcoal. I'm not sure. So when we get to it, we'll get to it. It is I, this the Beauty Bay formula that shine it's stupid good, but so are the mats. The mats are very good too. That I can't, I can't, I can't knock them, you know? Golly. I just love it. Now, this is the one that I'm not sure if it's a black. I think it is a black. Oh, it might not be. Oh, I don't know. Is it a black? I don't know. Hang on, one has to go on my knuckle because I didn't start over far enough. <sighs> If it's not a black, it's a deep, it's a charcoal gray. Okay, I can see it now that I've swatched it. It's a charcoal gray, like a dark charcoal gray matte. But that's pretty. Um, I don't need a black in each palette. I really don't. I got plenty of blacks. Just like I don't need a white or a, um, but it's nice to have one. It's nice to have one in a palette. Just like it's nice to have a black or a dark gray. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that blue. Stop it. Stop it. I am so impressed with their pricing, with their formulas. They're not coming out too much, right? So, like, it's not like ColourPop where there's one a week. There's not. So, you get a little, you could be fatigued by it, but I'm not. I'm happy when the next one comes out. And I'm always excited to see what they've got next. Oh, I forgot this one. Hold on. I've got a pink one on my pinky. <laughs> it's kind of a mauve -y pink. Dry my hands off on my pants because why not? <laughs> it's the end of the day. They're going straight in the laundry. Oh, there's a nice, like a medium chocolate in this one too, for if you want to deepen up with a brown instead. Oh my, and that's a pretty, like a burgundy at the end, like a berry burgundy. Look at her, look at her. Yeah, come on now. That's the new Retro Love from Beauty Bay. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, as they always are. So there she is, in case 
you're looking at that one. It's 20 shades and it looks like Beauty Bay quality to me. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I like it. Like it a lot. Okay, so a couple of the things that I have done. Um, I went went to Walmart and I placed an Ulta order. So those are the other two pieces that I got here of my haul. When I went to Walmart, I bought just a couple of things because I wanted to. I had no reason to buy the, literally none. But one of them I've already worn and I'm super stoked to have it. So first thing is I've used this in the past, this little lash discovery. This is a waterproof though. I don't know if I use the waterproof or not, but I love me a waterproof mascara these days. So I went ahead and picked that up. I have 50,000 mascaras to use, but I just got the urge. I got the itchy urge to buy it. So I did. And then this was a tinted moisturizer from Black Radiance. And I thought, you know, that might be light enough in their fair to light neutral. And I doubt it is. It's a little squeezy pumpy thing. Let's, let's squeeze some out. Squeeze some out. It's too dark, I'm sure. I'm sure it's too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. It's too dark. It's too dark. But I could... I could use it as a mixer. That is so dark. And it also doesn't look very neutral, but <laughs> what was she thinking? I don't know. I just, isn't this for people of color? Yes, I know. But I just, I didn't know how, I'm sorry. I didn't say fair on it. So <laughs> I'll use it mixed with something, don't you worry about it. It does have SPF 15, which is not high enough for like your only SPF, but I mean, you know, you know, okay, I tried. Uh, the other thing that I, bur that, I bur that I bought is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Life of the Party. And the reason I bought this was because no reason at all. I have had a couple of these in the past and I bought them in weird shades because I'm an idiot because who wouldn't buy the grayish purple one thinking oh I'll wear that all the time no you won't you love nudes and then I actually really loved the formula so I bought the electric pink one so the grayish one is called uh philosopher it's beautiful the I mean neon pink is called romantic this one is like dark fuchsia pink. It's gorgeous. And I've discovered that like this pattern on it means it's like some sort of limited edition, whatever, whatever. Um, the I wore this on Saturday, maybe? Was it Saturday? I can't remember. But we went out into the world. I did some shopping. I did, we were, like ran errands. We ate lunch out at a seafood restaurant where I ate french fries, hush puppies, popcorn, shrimp, and applesauce, which is what I eat at the seafood restaurant. And this was beautiful. It looked exactly the same as I put it on that morning. Took it off that night with like my cleansing balm. Had to use the cleansing balm to take this off, which is why I'm not gonna swatch this mess for you. Go look it online for swatches because it is, it is this this color. Is this the, is that, that's the color that it is. But if I put it on my hands, it would stain till next week. And I'm not doing that. It, it's gorgeous, y'all. I loved it. So then, I think it was the next day. It's been a week at least. So I know it was like a week and some change after that. It doesn't really matter, does it? It was in the past. Sometime in the near past. I got on Ulta because I always get on Ulta on Sundays. And look, because Sundays is when they drop the most new arrivals. Like their new stuff. Is just in case you didn't know that. And so usually I go poking through the new stuff at Ulta on Sundays. And on this Sunday, I was like, well, let me go check out they Maybelline, you know, whatever, whatever, and try to find more. And then there was a little pop-up that said, hey, it's, it's like fancy lip Sunday. And I was like, what's that mean? And it said, if you buy lip products today and today only, we'll give you five times the points. And I said, let me just buy lip products that I don't need. Your girl placed a lip product order of stuff she didn't need. 
So let's, let's look at it all because that's what you're here for, you nosy heifers. But I also say that I went crazy and bought every dang lip product I wanted. I just, insanity is what happened to me. Okay, so I got another, another white, there's a hair. I got another one in Exhilarator, a darker red than the hot fuchsia. Who wears red lipstick, me? I think I could with this one though. And the reason why I say that is because it wears like steel. So I could put this on and leave it on and it wouldn't go anywhere. That's my, that's my goal. So who else bought other than me? I just kept buying things, getting my five times the points for stuff I wanted to try. So, ooh, that's a terrible sound. This is the LA Girl Glossy Tint Lip Stain in Addict. Apply a thin layer on lips for a more intense look. Apply a second layer. Precision tip applicator, lightweight and non-sticky. Glossy shine and stain. I love a lip stain now because it stays and that's what I like. Ooh. Okay. I ain't gonna put this on my lips, am I? I don't know, I'll put something on. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, what else did you buy? Thank you for asking. I bought another one of these things because who wouldn't? I have, tell me I don't have the same one. I don't. Okay, two of these are the same as each other. That's not, that's not, a, that wasn't a Sunday me problem. That was an earlier me problem. That's a historical mistake, but it's a great color. So the, the little crayons from Maybelline. I love them. I'm throwing other things on the floor. But this one I got in, bloop. Stay, nope, stay exceptional. I was going to say stay exposed. Totally different channel for stay exposed. Stay exceptional for this one. Maybe we'll put her on. So if you didn't know, on the other end of this is a little sharpener. And um, you can little sharpen your little thingy thing. Um, I don't mind if it's flat. Okay, here we go. That's a pretty color, right? Mm -hmm. A little mauve moment. It's probably not perfect, but neither are you. It's pretty. I like these. These also stay really, really well, um, and I like them. So I knew that. I knew that one was going to be fine. Now these, <laughs> I had one of these already. Okay. And then I brought its brothers and sisters is what I did. So I already had Punchy and I like it. So then I bought the rest of the Dagder crew. I bought Cheeky. I bought Fearless. Why would I buy? I have no idea. And then who wouldn't have, I bought Royal. Who wouldn't? Don't offer me a good time, Maybelline. I will come for you. Because now we got every, these are the vinyl inks, super safe vinyl inks. If you have super stay and ink up in your name, I will buy you, apparently. And I will like it, apparently. <sighs> so, because I did that, I got a little free little kit from Maybelline. Of course I did. A uh, little my, no, Garnier Micellar Water Stay no, Lasting Fix. There's a Falsies Lash Lift and then my very favorite eyeliner on the planet, the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Short Stack, which is not what it's called, but that's what I call it. So that came as like a whatever gift with purchase. I kept buying lip products. I'm not done. Why in the world? I don't know. Okay, so um, then I bought a Clinique lip product. Why? No, no, no. This is a Clinique Pop Plush Creamy Lip Gloss. Why would you buy this color? Um, I don't know. It's black honey pop. Black honey pop. Ooh, it popped. <laughs> oh my God. What have I done? I don't know. It's not a bad color, is it? It certainly doesn't look that color up on your lips. So I'm glad I actually looked at that. This is a creamy lip gloss. And it is quite pretty. Why? I don't know. Two more of absolute chaos. I've used up several of these. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. And I bought it in pineapple. 
The last one I used up was in tangerine. Oh, it was a good one. Pineapple. And then why do you want this? I don't know. This is the Essence Hollow Balm in iced glass. No, iced gloss? Iced gloss. Who wants a blue glitter? Me, apparently. Why? Don't know. Don't don't have a clue why I would buy that, except I'll probably use the whole dang thing up because that's who I am in this world. That's my haul of insanity that I bought over the last, don't let me buy any more lip products, y'all. There's no need. I, there wasn't a need to begin with, but there's really no need now. I mean, we just, just, just it's raining lip products over here. And I already needed to declutter them anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't tell Mr. Moat won't. Um, he's amazing. He's the best in the whole wide world. I'll do a couple things for you. I'll put, um, just because I love you and it's Valentine's Day tomorrow in my world. Um, to those of you who celebrate, I love you. Thank you for being my Valentine. Uh, for those of you who, did I say don't celebrate? For those of you who do celebrate, I love you. Thank you for being my Valentine. For if you don't celebrate, boo, boo. Um, but I'll give you a couple of pictures of my dogs and uh, Mr. Mugwump's Valentine's Day bouquet arrived today and I had to go get it off the doorstep because it was flowers. Um, we buy flowers or he buys me flowers from Farm Girl Flowers and it's a, a, a woman owned business and we've been supporting this business for quite a while. Their bouquets are stunning and I love the aesthetic of them. I, I just love them. And so I'll show you what that looks like so that you can vicariously look at my flowers. <coughs> Excuse the coughing um, and the <clears throat> the voice. But I can't tell you how much I appreciate y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's birthday time soon. So get ready for all the birthday stuff that I'm going to be doing and talking about and hauling. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.